What's up folks, my name is Javier from Tool Craze and guess what? Find the German power tool company that invented the oscillating multi-tool has just come out with a new 12 volt cordless power tool line. Let me take you guys to the Tool Craze website so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. So over here on the Tool Craze website I wrote almost a year ago about Find coming out with a new cordless 12 volt line. I wrote this article back in November last year so it's been a while since the new line was announced. The reason we haven't seen any of these new 12 volt Find power tools is because of the fact that when they were announced, these were spotted over in Europe. I believe it was in France if I remember correctly. The fine 12 volt line consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 new cordless power tools along with a little LED flashlight. And as you can see from the picture, these are completely new designs. They don't appear to be copies of other brands tools rebranded as fine power tools. We can also see that they use lithium ion flat battery packs that slide onto the bottom of the handle instead of the pod style batteries that fit inside the handle that Bosch and Milwaukee have used for their 12 volt power tools. So the new slide pack battery style is more similar to what DeWatt's been using for their 12 volt power tools. And now Makita with their newer 12 volt CXT tools. What's great about the battery sliding onto the tool itself is that first of all, it makes a flat base for the tool to easily stand on its own just like regular 18 volt batteries. And because the battery doesn't fit inside the handle, the handles themselves can be made much slimmer, more ergonomic, and more comfortable to hold. What's also great about the new fine slide pack batteries is that the battery has a fuel gauge built in. Brands like Milwaukee and Bosch also have fuel gauges, but their fuel gauges are on the tools themselves, meaning that you have to install the batteries onto the tools just to see how much juice each battery has. And if you have several batteries, then this can become a hassle having to check them all for battery status. I don't want to take up all your time so I'll go through the rest of the tools themselves quickly. So looking at the main picture we can see three drill drivers up top, which are actually two drill drivers and a screwdriver. And just below those on the left is a new 12 volt impact driver. And of course, fine wouldn't be fine if they didn't also have a 12 volt oscillating multi-tool, which looks to be a mini version of their fantastic Multimaster 350Q models. Then on the bottom right, we see their new 12 volt LED light. If you guys want to know more about each of these individual tools, go ahead and check out this article on the Tool Craze website for all the details and specs. And I'll go ahead and leave you guys a link in the description so you guys can check them all out. This video is not over yet as we're barely getting started. So the new Fine 12 volt cordless power tool we're going to be taking a look at today is the Fine ASCM 12C 12 volt drill driver. This particular model seems to have all the bells and whistles you can think of in a drill, except for a hammer drill mode. It's a brushless drill. It has an all metal ratcheting half inch chuck. Yes, you heard right, a half inch chuck on a 12 volt drill. And also looking at the picture, notice how the chuck is off to the side. It's not broken if that's what you're thinking. What it is is that the chuck itself is removable to make the drill into a very compact screwdriver. So take off the chuck and it's a screwdriver and put the chuck back on and bam it's a drill. And if all those features weren't enough, it's also a four speed drill instead of the usual two speeds. Pretty sweet right? So with normal drills you have two speeds, with speed one giving you the slowest RPMs but also giving you the highest amount of torque possible. And this is great for when you need more power for things such as installing lag bolts or drilling larger holes. And speed 2 gives you the highest RPMs possible, perfect for high speed drilling. But you also get a lot less torque. So speed 2 is great for drilling with twist bits at high speeds, but usually with smaller diameter bits. There are other multi-speed drills out there that offer you more than two speeds. And probably the most popular models are DeWalt's premium drills with three speeds. And they work pretty much the same way as a two speed drill, with speed 1 giving you the slowest RPMs, but the highest amount of torque, and the highest speed giving you the highest RPMs but with the lowest amount of torque. And what's great about these three-speed transmissions is that they have a middle speed with a nice blend of torque and RPMs. So this fine four-speed transmission works pretty much the same way as a three-speed transmission, but it also gives you an additional middle speed. A good example of the usefulness of the additional gears is when, let's say you want to drill a hole as fast as possible, but the drill can't do it on the highest speed. You know for sure that the lowest speed has enough torque to make the hole, but it's too slow. So you can move it to one of the middle speeds that still have a good amount of torque, yet are faster than speed 1. Looking at the top of the gearbox you get 4 selectable speeds and it almost looks like the manual shifter you'd find in a vehicle, except without the shift knob. It even has a gear set up similarly to the car shifter, with speed 1 being on the top left, speed 2 just below that, and to get to speed 3 you have to jump over to the top right and speed 4 is just below that. So 
Speed 1 gives you 0 to 400 RPMs. Speed 2, 0 to 700 RPMs. Speed 3 gives you 0 to 1,400 RPMs. And check this out. Speed 4 gives you 2,500 RPMs. Meaning that this fine 12 volt drill has the highest RPMs of any 12 volt drill that I've seen. And as far as most pro brand 12 volt drills go, they usually range between 220 to 275 inch pounds of torque. But this bad boy puts out 352 inch pounds of torque. Putting this drill right there in line with what the Milwaukee M12 fuel drills put out. It also puts this 12 volt drill right there into 18 volt drill territory. So with the larger half inch chuck and the additional torque, you'll be able to use larger drill bits that use a 5 16th inch hex shank, such as this 2 inch cell feed bit. I'd like to see the average 12 volt drill try to handle one of these 2 inch cell feed bits, or even be able to fit them into their smaller 3 8 inch chuck. Seeing that it has 350 inch pounds of torque, I'd say I agree with these claims as it performs on par with the 350 inch pounds of torque Milwaukee M12 fuel drills. So this fine 12 volt drill also has some serious huevos for a 12 volt drill driver. But one thing about the Milwaukee is that you need their larger high capacity batteries to get 350 inch pounds of torque. What's great about the fine is that it achieves the same amount of torque but with compact batteries. So that's definitely something to consider. And not only that, don't forget that this fine drill also has a leg up on all the other 12 volt drills as it has four selectable speeds. With speed one being the high torque mode but with the lowest speed, and speed 4 being the highest speed but lowest torque. It's nice to have the two middle speeds 2 and 3 to help you be the most productive. Also just like the M12 fuel drills, this fine 4 speed 12 volt drill is about as large as they get for 12 volt drills. Meaning it's much longer in length than just about all other pro brand 12 volt drills. So it's not going to win any contest when it comes to compact size since it measures almost 8 inches in length. But I also do want to mention that it is a tad bit shorter than the Milwaukee M12 fuel drills. So at least it ain't that bad. But luckily you can remove the chuck if you want to make this tool way more compact. And with the chuck removed it becomes a very compact screwdriver that measures only 5 and 7 8 inches in length. So as a screwdriver you'll be able to get into more compact spots than with the chuck installed. I do want to mention that when you do make this a screwdriver it has a tiny bit holder that accepts quarter inch bits. I say bit holder because that's pretty much what it is. It's not like the other quarter inch hex chucks you would find on an impact driver where the bits lock on. And since all this is a bit holder, I noticed that if let's say you're driving screws and your bits get stuck, the bit comes off the screwdriver. Meaning you have to grab the bit and reinstall it each and every time that a bit comes off. This four speed drill along with the other fine 12 volt tools come with a 2.5 amp hour battery. And the included batteries along with the brushless motor give you very good runtime. So to test out the runtime on this bad boy, I drove 3 inch screws into a 4x6 to see how many you could drive on a full battery and it got 138 screws driven giving you pretty good runtime figures. At 138 screws that means you're getting about 55.2 3 inch screws driven per amp hour. And because the batteries are flat they help the tool easily stand up on its own. And also because the batteries don't fit inside the handle like they do on other 12 volt tools the handle is nice and slim and it's very comfortable to hold because it's not bulky. It's also very close to the nice slim handles you find on DeWalt 12 volt power tools. So another thing that I noticed when I tested out this drill is that it has a nice soft start when you press the trigger. Just notice how the motor ramps up each time I press the trigger. So it starts up at medium speed and then it quickly goes to full speed. So as you can see it's not that obvious like with other types of tools that have a soft start. So it's more subtle. And what I did appreciate about the soft start is that it makes it a lot easier to drive screws. I noticed that with the soft start I had an easier time driving lots of screws and I stripped screws less. So it's a nice refinement that I haven't seen on other drills before and it's really hard to appreciate this feature on a drill unless you've tried it out for yourself. But when you do try it out for yourself you'll notice just how easy it makes driving screws. And as far as what's included with the kit you get the drill itself with the half inch chuck and all it also comes with a handy dandy belt clip on the side and a magnet on the back. The magnet's pretty strong and it can hold a couple of drill bits or screws so it's pretty useful. It also comes with a couple of 2.5 amp hour lithium slide pack batteries and it's got the fuel gauge right there on the side of them. It also includes a charger and a hard plastic case. 
As far as pricing goes, well, I'm not exactly sure because I couldn't find anyone here in the USA selling these. But I'll make sure to add links down in the description below so you can purchase them from the UK. And they also ship it overseas here to the USA. I'll make sure to add links to purchase them here from the USA when they're available. So what do I think of this little drill? First of all, this thing has some huevos. It's got the performance of the Milwaukee M12 fuel drills and it puts out 352 inch pounds of torque with its compact batteries. Whereas the Milwaukee M12 fuel drills need the high capacity batteries to get full torque. This fine drill is rather on the large side as it's much larger than most other pro brand 12 volt drills out there, but it is more compact than the M12 fuel hammer drill. But luckily you can remove the half inch chuck to make it a very compact screwdriver. You also get refinements that I've never seen before in a 12 volt drill, such as the nice soft start and the four speed transmission. This little bad boy doesn't have the hammer drill mode, but this drill has everything you wanted to drill and even features you would have never thought about. And the brushless motor helps you get great runtime as I was able to drive 138 three inch screws with the included batteries. So I'd say that this fine little drill is definitely worth taking a look at. So that's it for this episode of Tool Craze. As always, show your support for this channel by liking this video, checking out the Tool Craze website at www.toolcraze.net for more tool news, tool deals, and tool reviews you won't see here on this channel. And follow me over at social media, over at Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.